All right, y'all, I'm acting like I have time to be doing a get ready with me. I do not. Excitingly, I'm going to a food tour, which I've done before, but in a different area. So this company does uh, tours across like all different neighborhoods of Paris. And so I did one in like Paris, like city center kind of, and like, I think it was like the first. And we did like a whole bunch of, we went to like 10 restaurants and tried their best foods. And so I'm doing that today, but in a different neighborhood. So I'm pretty excited. I think it's a group of like eight people. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm excited, but like this is definitely the time that my social anxiety ramps up, like meeting people that I don't know, especially in a case where I don't know the language. So um, it's gonna be in English, like it was in English last time. This kind of thing attack attracts tourists. So hopefully like it won't be hard to communicate with people, but still like even if everyone's speaking English and me just standing there like <sighs> These are the parts of solo traveling where you just like feel a little bit like okay I can do this so I'm kind of like hyping myself up for this right now because I'm a little nervous Anyway, I have to leave here in 13 minutes, so I'm gonna do my makeup routine really quickly. Less than five minutes. I feel like everyone on YouTube is like, my five minute makeup routine. And then 17 minutes later, I'm using a laser and I'm doing all this, and I'm like, this wasn't five minutes. So here's my actual like five minute routine because I literally, I have to go like very soon. Um, this starts at noon and it's 11.35. <laughs> so um, let's go. So I'm just starting with my Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. I also use Supergoop, but I don't know, for some reason, Glossier's, I feel like just gives me this like pull up. So just starting out with sunscreen. I've already like washed my face, done all that jazz. Then I'm just going to start with concealer. I don't do a ton. I just do it on the spots where I have like some hyperpigmentation. But that's usually my number one skin issue is like scarring from the past. Um, I get like a couple zits here and there. I was having a really bad breakout in one of my vlogs that you guys may have seen. But overall, I don't do a ton of breaking out. It's just like when I do have little spots here and there, it's very hard to get the spots to go away. And so that's why I, I needed to be very diligent with sunscreen so that it doesn't make the spots worse. So that's pretty much all I do in terms of concealer. And that was the Huda Beauty Concealer in Brittle. Then I go in with boy brow like y'all keep in mind I'm gonna be like standing outside this is like a I think it's like a five hour tour so the last thing I'm gonna do is be spending like a lot of time doing my makeup when I'm just gonna be standing in the sun for hours on end and stuffing my face like what is the point so yeah this is just the boy brow and I think it's just black and then um I like doing now just like a little bit of lip liner because all I'm gonna do is like a gloss so I see a little lip liner here. And then um, that lip liner was Sephora's in 15 Rosewood. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Mented Cosmetics Bombs Away Coconut Lip Treatment. I get super trapped lips because guess what? <laughs> Don't drink water. I get super trapped. So one, I'm focusing on drinking water. And two, this lip treatment is super helpful for repairing my lips with coconut oil. Next step is going in with the Huda Beauty Cream like Roller Brush. Reminds me a lot of Clown Paint, but it's like a lot more potent. So, and concentrated. So this is Coral Cutie. And so I just put it there and rub it in. Like make little clouds on my cheek. I think I did a little too much on this side. That's okay. And then going in with the Amicole Light Catching Highlighter here and here. It's giving me a little bit of glow. Already brushed out my lashes that are hanging on by a thread. And um, we're good. That's it. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna put on some earrings because my southern mother taught me we ain't going nowhere with no earrings. And then um, we're headed out. It is 11.37 now. So that was very fast. This is it, this is it, this is it. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's go. This is the fit. I'll tag all the deets. Ba ba ba. PLT. Oxford. Nasty gal top. Nasty gal necklace. Desi sunglasses. PLT clear earrings. Um, PLT shorts. And then Arizona love sandals. We out of here. Oh, and you can't forget the trusty Telfar. Lego. Do you know the The heart of Beretta. So Burrata. it's called Stracciatella. This one is truffle pizza. Oh, yes. I'm a truffle girl. Uh, yeah. And this one is uh, just a basic margarita.
Chew. This is delicious. Oh, wait a minute now. I don't know like that. Oh, I don't know what that on. Be almost killed me. <gasps> that was the best puff of my life. On to the third place. We started with pizza and then we had that puff. That puff. I'm gonna be back for that puff. They call it a shoe. It's also like a term of endearment for your partner. Like, no shoe, my puff. I'm gonna start saying that. But okay, on to the next place. I think things are going good. Talking to people, saying hi, asking people where they're from, sharing a little bit. So, we're good. <laughs> Get y'all's cheese pull. Oh, oh. yum! Oh Onions, cheddar, cheese. The ketchup is what's throwing me. Let's see. Mm. That's very good. Oh. Yes. This is very wild. Hello, people of the vlog. That's the only. Turnover with the pump. Mm. I got the pear and tonka sorbet. I'm very excited. It's delicious. Back home, it was really only like a two hour tour, which was a great amount of time. I'm super full. I will link the experience below so that you guys can book it too. I recommend starting with the tour that's in Le Marais. That's like more closer to Paris city center. It's a little bit more bustling. The one I went to was a smaller neighborhood. And if it's your first time in Paris or you're wanting to, or you're staying closer into the city, I recommend doing the Le Marais one first, um, especially if you're staying near that area. This is a great one if you're staying in this particular area. So I'll link that. It was really fun. Everyone was really nice. They were from all over the country from New Jersey to LA to oh like Amsterdam like it was it was just so great to meet so many different people so I don't know it was really it was really nice and it's just annoying that I get so anxious before these things because we as people need like social interaction and as much as I love being here in Paris it's not like I just have a bunch of people here that I can just talk to and converse with it's like going on a solo trip is in and of itself, solo. So um, it was just nice to be around people and talk about, you know, different things, especially since a lot of them were American. And I really enjoyed it. So I highly recommend next time you're in Paris, book this experience, six different restaurants, amazing food, really loved it. I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day. I have nothing else to do. I may need to get some dry cleaning done because I think I may schedule a little photo shoot for tomorrow. But other than that, I'm gonna hang out here, read, relax, journal, you know, do a little bit of self work. Um, I have a few exercises, mental exercises that I do to kind of, I don't take inventory of my emotions. So I'm gonna do those and um, chill for the rest of the day. See y'all. Hello friends, I'm walking to dinner. It's been a very chill day after the food tour. Not even really that hungry right now, but we passed a restaurant on the food tour that looked amazing. So I thought I'd stop by because we didn't get to eat there because it was Asian food. And usually like with Asian food, it's like a big dish. It's not really like shareable. So I'm excited to go there. It's very weird talking to my tripod in front of people. Like I'm still not used to that. But what I realized is honey, they're gonna scare regardless. They love to eat outside and petty. It is like 9.30 right now on a Tuesday. It's packed. I'm like, Parisians, do y'all cook? Or if not, <laughs> sign me up because I don't cook either. That's what I'm up to. Excited to eat. I will tap back in when I get there. Okay, let's see what Asian food is about in Paris. I got this glass of wine that they said would pair well with what I got. So let's see. 
pizza that I plan to Let's try. I'm not a big eggplant person. These are good. These are really good. These are the noodles. The beef noodles. Beef so fun. Okay, let's try the noodles first. That's really good. This is my new spot. That was so good. I can't eat anymore. I literally can't. I'm gonna have to take this with me. This was so good. Oh, my stomach. I ate so much and so fast. Ugh. I did not think I could be this full. Like, I really did not. My stomach. Yeah, I can't wait for my Tums. I'm gonna have two Tums and a gas X, and it's gonna be so amazing. Oh my god, I'm home. Got my Tums. That's right. Come to mom. That was so good. <sighs> Mm. And my gas X. I don't know what it is, but something about Asian food always does this to me. But I'll never quit. I needed that. I'm gonna go lay down. I'm watching Partner Trek. What do y'all think? Well, I'm gonna finish my little ebook and then I'm gonna watch Partner Trek because it is 10.30. So I still have an hour and a half left before I have to make myself go to sleep because that's what I have to start doing, sleeping by midnight. I can't keep going to sleep at 4 a.m.